kind of crazy back nine there. Um, when did you kind of, I mean, when did you kind of see that you were, that what Hideki was doing, that you were, that you were right in the mix then, um, kind of late there on the back nine? I was, it was a, uh, it was a head down day. So far back, Hideki's was playing some really good golf. Um, I know it's hard to close on this, on this side. Just a lot of trouble everywhere and the wind seems to swirl on a lot of holes. So hard to hit it close uh, and hit fairways nonetheless. So it was, it was more of a head down, how many good shots can I hit type, type deal on my back nine. What was the best part of your game today? Did a little bit of everything. You know, I was just trying to get my game trending in a little bit of better direction, uh, ball striking wise, uh, shaping it off tees, um, and, and sort of hitting the numbers with the wedges. So happy, obviously, with how I play today. Uh, can't can't complain. Did you have a number in mind that you thought might get you? Yeah, I mean, I thought 61 would be pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I think 61s are cool. Period. I don't care if you're playing a muni. Uh, so. It's uh, like I said, uh, I'm not sitting here complaining. I'm, I'm happy with how I played. What's the biggest, you know, takeaway you'll take to next week and things that maybe you might want to work on in the coming days? You know, I, each each event is sort of its own. I know we're sort of in this in this playoff run here, but to me, I you know, Memphis has gotten the best of me a lot of times. So I'm, I'm happy I was able to sort of overcome some demons here on this property and and shoot a nice number here. Actually, the same thing I Scott. It won't, maybe I'm forgetting. When was the last time you played at altitude? Was it? Uh, for the WGC in Mexico, I imagine. Yeah, that was uh, 8,000 feet, I want to say. So it's going to be similar, I guess, with how hot it is and about, you know, just under 7,000 feet. I think, you know, guys are going to have charts using their, you know, machines to try and get a feel for, you know, how far an 8-iron or, you know, anything you hit really high goes. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks.